Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and it is time to make crafting fun. If you know me, you know I love holiday chandeliers and Halloween isn't an exception. So I went to Pinterest and I found all of these beautiful chandeliers. So I'm going to make mine. And here we have this garden fence that I got from Walmart and it is 234 but I just want to spruce it up a little bit and make it like this one. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my garden fence and this mineral chalk paint from Waverly. And I'm also going to take this metallic and that antique wax. And we're going to just age this one. So I'm going to remove that tag and I'm going to take my sponge and my mineral. And I'm going to start just sponging it like this. So we cover all of that new type of thingy <laughs> with that garden fence. Now that I have it covered, I'm going to take my gunmetal gray metallic and I'm going to do the same thing, sponging it and blending that mineral with that beautiful color. We're going to go all around our fence just like that and we're going to cover all of that black part of the fence. Now I'm going to take the antique wax and we're going to start aging our skulls like this. And I'm going to also age the fence like that. We want this to look aged and beautiful. <laughs> Creepy beautiful. <laughs> so we're going to continue doing this and then we're going to let it dry and we're going to use two of those. So after it is dried, I'm going to take this circle that I removed the center in black paint and I remove that for another DIY I'm gonna take my apple barrel black paint and paint it then I'm gonna take my mineral my gunmetal gray and also I'm gonna take the antique wax and I'm gonna do the same steps like this so we have it aged now I'm gonna take this chains and I have six of those and I'm gonna take antique wax and black paint and we're gonna age this ones and for that, I'm using the same method, just using my sponge, going all around just like that, because we want to give it an aged kind of look. So we're going to repeat that with all of our chains. And as, as I told you, I have six of those. Then we're going to let them dry. Now I'm going to take my heat knife and I'm going to cut my fences over here just to remove the part of the stake because we're not going to use that. And I'm just going to cut it. Let me get this to get a little bit hotter. <laughs> so we can cut it like that. And I'm going to remove also these pieces over here. We're going to remove all of those on our two garden fences. Now I'm going to take the circle and we're going to just measure it. Then I'm going to take these beads from Dollar Tree and some flat spray paint and paint them. And now I'm going to take that circle and my drill. And I'm going to drill holes all around my circle or kind of wreath. <laughs> I made this one for another DIY that you will see in the cards above. above. <laughs> now I'm just making some holes in the middle of those, as you can see. So we can attach the ones, the chains that we will hang our wreath. And this is part of the Pinterest inspired DIY challenge hosted by the beautiful Sonia from Domestic Diva DIY. In the description box down below, you're going to find the link to her channel and also to the playlist so you can go and check it out. Now we're going to take that circle that has all of the holes that we made with the drill and we're going to take the fences and we're going to take some zip ties and I'm using black ones, but I don't have enough, but you will see what I will do. <laughs> now I'm just going to tie those zip ties like that and we want the black part to the top and the one that we aged to the bottom. So I'm just going to start zip tying it. Yeah, I think I invented a word for this one. <laughs> We're going to start attaching both of them together just like this. And then when we have this one attached, we're going to attach the other one. So we're just going to keep on playing with our zip ties. And as you can see, it's taking the shape of the circle. Now we have both of them and we're going to start working with our chains, the ones that we will use to hang it. But first, I want to show you that we will just use them like this. And as you can see, I'm adding 
some zip ties over here so I can grab those chains to the wreath form that we made with that wooden circle in the description box down below also you're gonna find my Amazon storefront so you can go and check out those wood rounds now I'm just gonna keep on tying my chains and I use four pieces for that so we have a balanced chandelier <laughs> and I'm just tying it like that with our zip ties and measuring it like that then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take pieces of chains and this ones will depend on the length that you want I started at three loops as you can see here and I went up all the way to eight loops I think because I went around my circle and I'm just adding one smaller one a little bit bigger and so on and so forth just adding all around that circle those pieces of chain because that will give it a little bit extra <laughs> and you know me I love me some extra <laughs> so that's gonna add a little bit more to our chandelier I'm a little bit off frame but you can see that I'm just adding those links or chain links <laughs> to my wreath form or chandelier and after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding our beads. And I have my hands painted <laughs> with the spray paint. But don't worry, this is dried. I tried with that stapler, but that wasn't possible. So what I did is I took some of those zip ties. And there's what I got. The last ones <laughs> of the black ones. And here you can see it. After I tied all of those beads and I added a light bulb in the middle. This one is from my local dollar store, but you can find something at Dollar Tree. And here you can see it hanging. You can stop here if you want. But I just feel that the, this needs a little bit extra. As I told you, I love extra. <laughs> but I wanted to show you the chandelier with the chains and the beads and all of that. If you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, hit the thumbs up if you like this one and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Here's my social media. Go and check me out. Now let's continue adding the extra touch and I'm using this tool and it is matte or flat black <laughs> tool and this creepy cloth. And if you want, you can add some of this spider web thingy. Let me just show you here that thingy. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the excess of a zip tie and then I'm going to flip it over, put everything on the inside of the circle just like that and push those beads to the outside so we have a clean slate. Then I'm going to take and I tried again with that stapler, but it wasn't possible. <laughs> so what I did is I took my hot glue gun and I'm a little bit out of frame, but you will see what I'm doing. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to press that tool over there just like that. You see it in the corner, <laughs> but I'm just looping that tool and giving it a little bit of a loop <laughs> effect with it. And as you can see, I'm going around my wreath form or my chandelier. And there you can see the loops that I'm creating. Now I'm doing the same thing on the back of that row. So we can add a little bit more extra. <laughs> yeah, Halloween is all about the extra touches. <laughs> so I just did that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my creepy cloth and I'm going to cut pieces. And as you can see, I'm cutting one inch pieces and adding them in between our chains just like that go all around they can be as long as you want so they can dangle from your chandelier if you want to buy me some crafting supplies you will find this link in the description box down below you don't have to do that you can support your favorite creator by watching sharing and liking their videos but if you want to buy me crafting supplies this link you will find it in the description box down below and you will get a shout out in my channel
And this is how it turned out, and I'm loving it. It looks so creepy cute, and all of those extra touches <laughs> made it look even better. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this one, because you know me, I'm biased, and I'm loving it. <laughs> Remember that in the description box down below, I'm going to leave you the link to the playlist and also to Sonia's channel so you can go and check out what everyone else made for this awesome challenge. And also go and check Sonia's channel out because I know you're going to love her. And remember that if you like modern farmhouse, boho decor and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. And if you like this one, let me know in the comments below and hit the thumbs up. And if you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching this, this, this type of videos. <laughs> Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.